Hello friends, today we would be learning about Lucas test. The Lucas test is a very simple test. It's used to differentiate between the primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. So what is a primary alcohol? The alcohol in which the hydroxyl group is attached to the primary carbon is called the primary alcohol. Most common example is ethanol. In secondary alcohol, two carbon atoms are directly attached to the primary carbon. The secondary alcohol I am using is the isopropyl alcohol. In tertiary alcohol, we have three carbon atoms attaching directly to the primary carbon. The one I am using is the tertiary butyl alcohol. Now before the test, we will prepare the Lucas reagent. It is anhydrous zinc chloride in concentrated HCl. For this test, we will need concentrated hydrochloric acid that is a minimum of 35% and anhydrous zinc chloride. First of all, we will require an ice bath. This reaction is going to generate a lot of heat. So we will need to regulate the temperature so that the reaction can proceed in the right way. Now we place the flask containing 18 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid in the ice bath. Take the initial reading of the acid and it should be around 10 degrees Celsius. You can see that the temperature is at the 10 degree point and those fumes are hydrochloric acid. Avoid inhaling those fumes. Now we measure out anhydrous zinc chloride as quickly as possible. I have already added the zinc chloride into the acid and now I have kept it in the ice bath. After adding the zinc chloride, we need to give a good stirring so that the zinc chloride dissolves in the acid. If you have a magnetic stirrer, it would be the perfect option here. Take the temperature periodically and check for any increase in temperature. After the reaction has completed, you can see that the temperature is still around 10 degrees Celsius. Now we go to Lucas test where we take 3 milliliters each of the primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol and add equal quantities of Lucas reagent. Here I have taken all the three alcohols in separate test tubes and now I will be adding the Lucas reagent and look for any formation of precipitate. In the primary alcohol, there is no precipitate formed. In the secondary alcohol also there is no precipitate but in the tertiary alcohol you can see that there is formation of a white precipitate. Now we will be placing the secondary alcohol in a hot water bath and look for any reaction. Here I am placing the secondary alcohol in a boiling water bath for few minutes. Now again the primary alcohol there is no precipitate formed. Now in the secondary alcohol you can see that the precipitate has formed after heating in the water bath. In the tertiary alcohol there is already the precipitate formed. So this is the conclusion. The primary alcohol, there is no reaction. In secondary alcohol, there is precipitation after slight heating. And in tertiary alcohol, there is immediate precipitate. About the mechanism, it was an SN1 nucleophilic substitution reaction. SN1 nucleophilic reaction is given by secondary and tertiary alcohol. In the first step, the intermediate compound carbocation is formed. In the second step, the chloride ion reacts with the carbocation forming the alkyl chloride. The tertiary alcohol has the most stable carbocation form, hence it formed the alkyl halide faster, followed by secondary and then primary alcohol. Precautions Both the reagents, hydrochloric acid and zinc chloride is corrosive. Avoid direct contact with them. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you won't miss my new videos. Bye.